Ryan Little. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I am starting this tutorial with my Natasha Denona Foundation X mixed with two foundation mixers from e.l.f. This foundation tends to be too deep and pink leaning on me, so these help balance it out, especially going into the cooler months where the difference between my skin and this foundation is only going to get bigger. Next, moving on to concealer, my trusty Tarte Shape Tape. I'm applying two tiny dots in my under eye areas, on my chin where I'm having some breakouts, and then where I have redness around my nose area. Then I'm taking a new e.l.f. brush. It's like a triangular shaped brush. I'm still testing it out, not sure how I feel about it, but I'm using that to blend it all out. Moving on to the eyes, I'm using CoverGirl's Lid Lockup, a longtime favorite of mine, applying that directly to my lids and then just blending that in with my fingers. Now, I found that depending on the shadows that I'm using, sometimes this never completely dries down to a tackiness that shadows don't apply a little patchy on. So lately, I've found myself setting it with a translucent setting powder. This is the one from ColourPop, and I'm just kind of going at that all over my lid, up to my brow, and in my under eye area. Now finally moving on to the shadows, I'm going into my Visi Art Deep Matte Shadow Palette into this yellow ochre shade and a fluffy crease brush, a relatively large fluffy crease brush because this is gonna be the most diffused color across or in my crease. I started that pretty narrowly in my crease but then I'm really blending that almost even up to my brow bone. I'm also applying it to my lower lash line. Can't neglect that, it gives it a nice symmetry and it'll also help us smoke out the next deeper green shade we're about to lay down. But of course not before we apply this amazing orange shade. Here I am going in with a slightly smaller fluffy crease brush because this I really do want to be precise deep into my crease. I'm starting pretty much at the base of that yellow ochre that I just laid down and almost blending it onto the rest of my lid to make sure it stays narrowly in my crease. And then I'll go back with the brush that I used uh, with the yellow shade and just blend the two out. Now on to that green shade, I'm first taking a pretty broad flat shader brush just to apply a base layer all over my lid. Then I take something a little bit smaller, a little bit more precise and better for really packing pigment on and take a second pass at my lid with that same shade. Then again, I'm also taking that shade down on my lower lash line and you'll find as you blend this that adding that yellow ochre down there to begin with really helps smoke that out a lot easier. The last few steps for the eyes are just to apply a matte brown liner to the waterline and then go back in and make sure everything is thoroughly and evenly and seamlessly blended. I'm finishing off the eyes with lashes, first starting off with mascara. This is Butter London's Stroke of Wow Mascara and I'm giving my lashes, both top and bottom, a few good coats. Then I take a break to do my brows. I don't know why, none of this makes sense, but I do. This is ColourPop's brow pencil, so I'm just filling my brows in with that. And then, once my mascara is dry, I go back in with these lashes that I have been loving. They are magnetic half lashes from Ardell, super easy to apply. I have a totally separate video here on my channel if you wanna go check it out. Just love how fast and easy these are to place and then remove if you don't get it right. And you don't have to worry about glue and dry time and things like that. Back to some true throwbacks. This is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm applying that where I normally would apply bronzer, the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, and underneath my jawline. And then I'm following that up with a blush line that I really love but has just been so neglected for me. It's the Becca Luminous Blush Collection. The shade in particular I'm using here is Tiger Lily. And I just find that the gorgeous shimmering tangerine in here complements the warm orangey yellow vibes I have going on in my eyes so, so well. And last up are the lips. Now this is a lipstick that I mentioned recently in my favorite fall lipsticks video. Again, I'll link that down below as well. This is the shade Nude La La from the brand Mented Cosmetics. It's a relatively new to me brand and I have fallen in love with their lipstick collection and this shade in particular because it is like the perfect shade for me when I want my lips but just taken two to three shades deeper for that extra fall drama. And that's it for this tutorial, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.